guys. Oh, make sure the mic is on. Let's make sure the face is back. Let's draw. Let's draw. Let's yeah. Mr. Pepper. Hello. Welcome. Hey, Good morning. Good, Good evening. <laughs> we are so supportive. We are so it supportive is. of each other. When somebody's being filmed and their pants are unzipped, we let them know because we are real friends. Okay? Yes. You better let me know if my I lipstick is weight. running That's like a crazy fine. person before I go on stage. I lost weight. So I don't look like my lips are bleeding. Um, so, so here's, yeah, I know, it's so tough when we lose weight. Um, that happens. It hasn't wait. happened this week, but anyway. Um, okay, so, so here's the thing, you guys. It's toughest going on first. We really appreciate the person going on first. So let's give her a warm welcome, you guys. Here we go. Wait, wait, oh, okay, wait. Are you am I doing a step too? Like, okay, well, here's the thing. The host usually breathes the right. intro, and then I set you up for your set. Okay. Without the intro. Do you want to do it that way? Yeah, no, I'll do the intro, and then I'll do whatever. Do you want the intro recorded or not? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, okay, please. all right, then let's get ready. And get it ready to roll because there's going to be no cuts in between. Here we go. Oh, wow. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, ready. ready. All right, you guys. All right, give it up for Alicia Marie. <laughs> Woo. Welcome, y'all. Howdy to the funny, welcome to the funny feminist show. Uh, the Funny Feminist Show has comedians brilliant enough to uh, use satire as social commentary on serious issues like if you think women should deserve uh, equal pay for equal work or that a woman shouldn't be stoned uh, to death for being a rape victim or, uh, or if a man shouldn't be stoned to death for being gay. Or if you think female genital, genteel, sorry, I have ADHD, genteelium, Genital, mutilation. Genital, mutilation. Genital. Sorry. Genital. That's a tricky word. Genital mutilation <laughs> is not a good thing. <laughs> or if you care for the rights of all minorities, all people. Yeah. Or if you have a uh, brain in your head, right? Then you might be a feminist and smart enough to do this show. Woo! <laughs> give it up for everyone here. Uh, this show, yeah, give it up! All right, uh, this show stars uh, Erica Edwards, uh, Natalie Richter. Okay, here's the thing. It's best if you read all the names. Okay. So there's an applause again, so okay. no one feels okay. bad in case they don't get enough okay. applause. All right. So Everyone so gets applause. You can just finish this. I'm not going to take that part. Okay, cool. Do okay. that, yeah. So just finish up by who's in the show, but read really quick. Okay, read names. it quick. All right. Sorry. This show stars Eric Edwards, Natalie Richter, Ina Romero, Pat Roy, Isadora Bode, Virginia Jones, Stephen Briggs, Alicia Marie, and Alexander Koreva. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to the funniest feminist show. Okay, that was so great. You don't have to read it that fast, but that was so <laughs> She great. took the note. I love for you to because it's very hard the first time. Okay. Um, so now I'm gonna set you up for your set. Can I be the sheet? Give it up for Alicia Marie. Howdy. I'm so glad to be here. Um, God. Um, I don't know, like, thinking a lot, like, about what I want to be known, like, known as. Like, if I'm, like, the ADHD comic or the Uger comic or the Ilf comic, I don't know. I think that all just, like, comes with, uh, time but um i am like uh i am like a cougar i think yeah i'm a cougar but i don't have cash so that like makes me an ooger <laughs> yeah i'm a, i'm just an oog basically an ooger but uh, I, I messed up like though because i don't have kids and i wish i did just so i could be a milf since i don't have money i want to be a milf because but, like I said, I don't have kids, so that makes me an ill. 
uh, which basically is just like, meet you now, like, let's go. It's like 2 a.m. last call. It's like, yeah. Oh, man. Uh, but I am single, and I want to, I don't know. I, I, lately, I've been thinking about trying to meet, like, that 11 a.m. guy. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. What is, that's just like the guy that you meet at Starbucks, 11 a.m. drinking <laughs> coffee. But then, you know what? You guys, I don't know if that's a good idea either because that kind of guy, it, he's unemployed. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I don't know if you want to go with that, but um, yeah, I mean, I am single. I'm on Tinder. I do that whole thing. I'm on and off, on and off, on and off. It's Tinder. But I did see some people on Tinder that's got people, guys, guys. Instead of asking them out, I was doing research. I was like, yeah, right? It's like, like, what? I asked them, like, so, I didn't even think of that until, like, later. I was like, why did I just ask them out? But I said, what makes you swipe right on a girl? And they're like, well, if there's two girls in the picture. And I'm like, then they can have a twosome. And I'm, I mean, threesome. But, <laughs> oh man, so yeah, that's fun. And I don't think they were my kind of guys anyway. Never done that. Not that kind of girl. But um, I, like I said, I do date younger guys. I think just because I look younger. But oh, it's so rant. It. I was dating this younger guy, and he's he said something to me and. He was like starting to say to me like it's like the first his first time like first time I thought he was gonna say it was his first time he was like I, and I was like I was like it's okay it's okay be gentle and he was like uh, and then he's like no I was just gonna say like I want some like milk or cop or something and I was like I was like oh boy now I feel like that 80s song like I'm so I'm so vain you think this song is about you and I was like oh wow. I start and I was like, that's not where I wanted to go, but I sort of did wish, so I guess I'm sort of vain like that song, but, yeah. Um, but, you know, one thing is, like I said, it's a, a, a cougar that look younger, but it's so much work, you guys. It's really a lot of work. You want to fake it, because you got to be, like, in attack mode. you got to be, like, like this, and everything I, like, basically learned about being a cougar, I learned from Katherine Hepburn movies, like old movies, <laughs> old black and white movies, where she's like, darling, come hither, <laughs> for some wine. And I'm like, I, I have a pony for you, darling. <laughs> Turns out life is not like that. But, um, so, life is not like a black and white movie. If it was, there'd be like a meet cute, like randomly, I'd meet like some guy here, and I'd be like at the coffee shop, and we'd hit it off, and we'd have a great story to tell. Like one of those like meet cutes in the movies where it's like, oh. I think every woman, or I'll speak, I don't know, I'm not going to speak for every woman here. But you want that meet cute. You want that guy so you can have that great story, you know. But, um, it, I don't know. Sometimes you think maybe it's just not worth it. It's like. You want that Mr. Right, but then you're like, well, yeah, I don't know. It's hard. It's hard. Dating is hard all over, but especially in LA, <sighs> especially in like California. But um, um, let's see. Is that it? Yes. All right. Um. All right. That I guess I'm gonna leave on that note about dating being hard, but. <laughs> and but no, no, I on this note, like about like uh, since like I'm gonna be like I think a gold digger. <laughs> so for one reason, I can get that hot older guy. Maybe he doesn't have to be hot. I'll scratch that off. But I'll get that guy, and then he's gonna die, and then I'll get all his money. Then I can be a cougar. Come back around to that. So all right, you guys, uh, we have a great show coming up uh, here. Enjoy it. Enjoy the rest of the comments on the Funny Feminist Show. <laughs>